Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One that takes us to Joe Biden, who believes he's grown up from his old habits. Thanks to a recent interview where he briefly spoke on how things went down when he fell out with Jay-Z and also Eminem and what he learned from the experience. And we'll get to more on this in a moment. And at the latter part of the video, we have more from 50 Cent who made an announcement of his plans in 2024. This time, not a resolution for positivity, but a change in lifestyle style that stirred rumors about his relationship, breakup rumors, and more. But going by how 50 Cent filled his New Year resolution for positivity just hours into the New Year, well, I don't know, and we'll get to this later. So starting with Joe Budden, he was recently on the Pivot podcast and he was asked about his past tendencies of stirring the pot when it comes to disagreements he's had in the past. And he was asked, have you really grown up? And he responded, hell yeah, and added, build and destroy, build and destroy. And in some instances, I maybe went about it the wrong way or expressed myself the wrong way. But the intent was always pure. The intent is always for the better of everyone. It is never like a selfish act. When I had my back and forth with Shady Records and Eminem, I was fighting for me and my brothers to get a better situation. There was always good intent behind it all. And before we get to more from Joe Budden, I have to wonder if his quote brothers from Slaughterhouse feel the same way about this, that he was looking out for their best interest and it wasn't motivated by selfishness. Because knowing what we know, we'll have to press X to doubt for this one as things got messy like we covered on this channel in multiple videos months ago. From King Crooked exposing Joe Biden for flat out lying, Royce's brother dissing King Crooked and Joel Ortiz, Joe Biden straight up dissing Joel to his face on IG Live and much more that went down when Rise and Fall of Slaughterhouse was announced. Joel, that album could suck my dick. Are you kidding me? I suck my dick. Go to him. Don't do that. Do you want Don't me to put people to this clown show? But moving on to more from Joe Budden, he was also asked if he regrets any of his beefs so far. And he responded that while he may look back at things that he should have done differently, he added, I can't regret any of it. I don't regret any of it because I put a lesson from it. Like all of the yesterdays lead to today. If I change one thing, then the outcome, the result is different. And he expanded on an example from the beginning, the fallout with Jay-Z. When Jay-Z got his role as president at Def Jam, I was a young artist on Def Jam trying to work on my second album and at that time, a lot of artists on Def Jam had an issue with Jay-Z being the president. This was the first time that a rapper, our peer, was like calling the shots, in charge of DMX release date and LL release date and none of us took that well and I really didn't take it well. He continued, I didn't handle myself well at all. Every interview they booked for me, I kicked their back in. Every chance I got in front of a microphone, I had just disparaging things to say about people who ultimately were maybe trying to help me. Even if they weren't trying to help me, if I would have helped myself, I would have been in a different predicament, but I didn't. Gas on fire. But while Joe Biden claims to have grown from, quote, pouring gas on the fire, recent viral moments from his podcast makes this debatable because as far as I know, this is only true for how he's handled the allegations hurled at brother love and I'm sure Drake will disagree with his claims that he's grown, brother love on the other hand would most likely agree. But what are your thoughts? Moving on, 50 Cent made a recent announcement on IG that stirred some interesting rumors about his day in life when he claimed, my new idea is so big, I don't have time to be distracted. I'm practicing abstinence. I have been meditating and focusing on my goals. I hope this new year helps you excel to the next level. But now this has stirred rumors linked to his alleged relationship with Cuban Link. Hence takes like, I figured him and Cuban broke up because she doesn't drive any of the cars he bought her anymore. 
And some have also linked this to his recent back and forth with Rick Ross with takes like translation. I let the Maybach music group girl go because she was keeping secrets from me. I gotta do better with these pass around shrugs emoji. And if you don't know what this is about, this takes us back to December when Rick Ross reignited his beef with 50 Cent to promote his collab album that ended up flopping. And after he got trolled for flopping by 50 Cent, Rick Ross fired back at 50 Cent using his relationship with Cuban Link that sparked headlines like Rick Ross shades 50 Cent and Cuban Link, quote, she told me I was her favorite. When it comes to rappers dissing 50 Cent in recent years, Cuban Link's been the link they use. Even Game tried to get back at 50 Cent back in 2022, claiming that he received DMs from Ha in the past. So that's been their go-to weak link to get back at 50 Cent, but we have no idea if they broke up for real. These are just rumors. I'll be looking forward to your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.